Hey guys, it's Ed Get Money. Um, that's Lost Causes right there. Uh, my dog sitting, uh, Rusty sitting in the window there being a creeper, as usual. Uh, Mama's got the APU on, so step further away through the truck so you can hear me. Uh, what I want to discuss with you real quick, I know it's been a bit before I put out a video, but I want to let you know um, I've been getting asked some of the same questions again, and I, I wanted to circle back around. And I get asked about, you know, what... Uh, whether they can accept this load, whether it's a good load, how to make a certain kind of money. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to break it down for you uh, with a lot of math, but real quickly so you can keep watching the video and then putting your figures in. Um, and I'll use an example as I do it. And yes, I'll do most all of this in my head, probably all of it in my head since I'm standing here talking to you. But, um, so the first thing in knowing how much money uh, you're gonna make, you gotta know how much money you're gonna spend. Okay, so fixed expenses. Fixed expenses is your entire nut, your payment, your insurance, your escrow amount that they have for your tolls, and you need to add all of that up. Now, you can do it one of two ways. Do everything weekly or do everything daily. I'm going to do this example daily, okay? So you take everything that you have, and we're going to use the amount of $1,400. Let's say your total nut is $1,400 for the week. Divide that by seven, since there's seven days in a week, and that equals out to $200 a day of fixed expenses for your truck. All right, that's the first thing you need to know. This. That means every single day when you wake up, you are negative $200 in the hole. All right, that's important to understand. So then you wanna look at your operating expenses, your variable expenses. Now this is going to be your fuel. So the way you find out how much that costs is, is you take how much you're gonna pay for fuel per gallon. I've done videos on this, how to use your WEX app. So let's take a number and take how much you're gonna pay for fuel. So let's say that it's $4.90 a gallon, all right? Say I'm filling up at a quick trip in Wisconsin. $4.90 a gallon, I'm gonna take that and divide it by my fuel economy. Let's say that I'm getting around average, so let's say it's seven miles to the gallon. You divide the amount you pay per gallon by the miles per gallon you get, and that'll tell you how much it's gonna cost you to run per mile. So $4.90 divided by seven, all right, miles to the gallon is gonna equal 70 cents per mile. Now that's how much it takes operating, 70 cents a mile. Now let's take that and subtract your fuel surcharge from that. And this week it's at 65 cents. So you take 65 cents, from the 70 cents, that equals five cents a mile of out-of-pocket expenses, okay? Now, you can take this and break it down to every single load, all right? And then, of course, this isn't deadhead miles because you don't get fuel surcharge on deadhead miles. So what I do for easy math at this point is let's go ahead and say 10 cents a mile just because that'll cover some of my deadhead too. And, you know, it'll be nice. It's a nice round number. I can say 10 cents a mile on average is my, uh, my variable expenses. So at that point, I look at how many miles am I gonna run in a week? Now, I don't chase miles, I do money. It's all about revenue. But if I wanna know what I'm averaging and what I'm going to be doing and how much my fuel expense is probably gonna cost, I say that 3,000 miles in a week is a pretty good number. So at 10 cents a mile, 3,000 miles in a week, you know, that's gonna give me $300, $300 a week in out-of-pocket fuel expense, okay? So now I gotta divide 300 by seven all right well i can do that and know that it's like four four like four forty four dollars and forty four cents and just keep up i'm gonna round it up to 50 bucks fifty dollars a day so now i got two hundred dollars a day in fixed expense fifty dollars a day in variable expense all right this is again it's an average why does that matter is i'm just letting you know it's an average so let's say i'm going to start my day off i'm 200 in the hole and i'm going to use fifty dollars in fuel today so that's $250 we're gonna call is what it is on my daily expenses. I take a load. Now I gotta know what now, I gotta know how much it is that I want to make in a week in order to know if I can accept loads. So we're gonna take a nice round number and we're gonna say, we're gonna say that you wanna make, let's see, I said seven, 20, say you wanna make $2,100 uh, $2, a week. That's your minimum, that's what you gotta have, that's what you're gonna make. This is your mark. So we're gonna have to take $2,100. $2,100 in a week, 
take 2100 and divide it by seven, seven days out of the week, right? So that equals to $300 in profit a day. So in order to make $300 in profit a day, okay, that means I've got 200 or yeah, 300 and 200, excuse me, $250. $200 worth of fixed expenses, $50 in fuel, and then I want to make a $300 profit. So that means my total for the day is $550 that I need to make to the truck in order to you know, define success for myself and, and make my $2,100 in a week. So how do I find out what I need to take on a line haul? Well, then you take the $550, okay, and you divide it by 0.7. And the reason you do that is because you're getting 70% of a load. So if you take a number and divide it by the percentage, basically, that you're going to get made, it's going to tell you what the gross has to be on the line haul. You don't have to much understand it if it's only as long as you believe me and do the math. So you take 550, okay, and you divide it by 0.7. What I'm going to do here, oh, geez, all right. 550 divided by 0.7 is going to be 2287. It's going to be like 870 something dollars in gross, okay, in a day. Because if I do that, then do the 70%, get down to 550, right at 550. Then I'm going to take all those expenses out, and then that's what's going to be left with my profit. You can use the calculation I just gave you to find out what you need to gross in a 24 hour period. So that way, when you're grossing that in that 24 hour period, you could take all of these numbers, add them together, get your magic number that you need to gross. And then when you get a load offer, now look, it's very, very important to understand that if you've got such a high number that you need to make in a week and you come out and it says you need to gross $2,000 in a 24 hour period, you better be in a market that can withstand that and in an area that can withstand it, okay? Because you can't just be declining loads in a bad market area and expecting to get something that's gonna give you more. No, this is gonna teach you how to get into the right market areas and make sure that you're watching what the line hauls are. But if you need to make that $2,100 in a week, then you're going to $850, less than $900 gross in a 24 hour period line haul. That means if it's, three days to deliver the load, the line haul needs to pay $2,700. Okay, uh, sorry, 24, 850, 24, 2550. Well, let's make easy math. This is why I tell you to do a $1,000 line haul in a 24 hour period, you'll make two to $3,000 every single week because depending on where your fuel mileage is, depending on how you know your fixed expenses are and whether or not you're using the app and where you're gonna fuel, you will fall on that two to $3,000 mark. All right, per week profit. But to find a success for yourself, those are the actual numbers that you need to do. And you could tweak it, and then you could see, hey, that load runs for four days. I'm wanting to make X amount of money. This is how much the gross has to be. But you gotta also know if the market will withstand it. Like if you go to Texas and expect to get $1,500 a day load coming out of Texas, it's gonna be a little difficult. All right, that's where you define and decide where you're going to run at. Some markets have a lot of loads, but they pay less. Some markets pay a lot of money going into one area and a little bit coming back out. But if you get your line hauls, understanding what your profit has to be daily. And another big thing about this, when you take home time, if your profit was $300 a day, okay, and you had a $200 nut, you know, a day of fixed expense. So you started $200 in the hole that day and you were making a $300 profit every day to to do your goals, right? When you take three days off, how much money do you lose? Most guys would be like $900 because I lost $300 profit each day. No, guys and gals, you're losing $1,500 because you got a $200 negative every single day, whether that truck runs or not. Consider that when you take your home time. Build up for it. not telling you don't go home. I'm just saying be aware of it. All right, find success for yourself. Make money, make more than they'd get money. Just make money that you need to make. But you can't make the money that you wanna make if you don't know how much you're spending and you don't define success for yourself, okay? I hope this helps. Congratulations to everybody out there, kicking ass, taking names, spending time with your family, succeeding, making money. Guys, 
happy 4th of July. I'm really proud of you. And all of you that are doing it, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm impressed, but I'm not surprised. I told you you could. You put forth the work. All right? Yeah, look, you see a lost cause. You see that? She's sexy. Shitty fuel mileage, but sexy. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.